This is exercise 29a, question 53. If a1, a2, a3, a4 are the coefficients of any four consecutive terms in the expansion of 1 plus x to the power of n, prove that this is true. Now, as hard as it looks, it's actually not that hard. So, what we can do is we can let a1 equals to n choose r, a2 equals to n choose r plus 1, and then a3 equals to n choose r plus 2, a4 equals to n choose r plus 3. And then let's work with this because these are consecutive coefficients. Now the first thing that we have to do is let's find an expression for a1 over a1 plus a2. Okay, let's put these coefficients in. Okay, expand. Okay, we have this this ugly chunk here. Now to simplify this, instead of putting the denominator so this big bit under the same denominator and then take out common factors and then cancel out with the numerator, what we're going to do in a much quicker way is multiply top and bottom by r factorial, n minus r factorial over n factorial. So this is a much quicker way of simplifying this. Now you can see that I'm multiplying the top by this, they all cancel out, leaving you with 1. Multiply the denominator by this, you can see that this cancels out as well with that, leaving you with 1. And this, you can see that n factorial cancels out with n factorial, with 1 on the top. And <coughs> we have r factorial divided by r plus 1 factorial, which means you have just r plus 1 left on the numerator. And when you um, cancel out n minus r minus 1 with n minus r factorial on the numerator, we're just left with n minus r on the numerator. So now, the next step is to simplify this part. We can do so by putting this in the same fraction. So we have r plus 1 plus n minus r over r plus 1. As you can see, um, the r's they cancel out. We have n plus 1 over r plus 1. And 1 over this fraction, we just need to take the reciprocal of this fraction. So therefore, the final answer is r plus 1 over n plus 1. So which means a1 over a1 plus a2 equals to r plus 1 over n plus 1. Okay, let's find the value of a2 over a2 plus a3. Now, it's actually unnecessary to go through all of this algebra again. Um, a2 over a2 plus a3 is equivalent to replacing this value where you're replacing r with r plus 1. So, if you replace r with r plus 1, you get r plus 2 over n plus 1. And similarly, with a3 over a3 plus a4, we are replacing again this expression in star, where r, you're replacing with r plus 2. So you get r plus 3 over n plus 1. Okay, now we have all our values here. We can answer the first part of the question. So we need to prove that a1 plus a1, a1 over a1 plus a2, plus a3 over a3 plus a4, equals to two lots of a2 over a2 plus a3. Now let's put our expressions in here. a1 over a1 plus a2 is equal to r plus 1 over n plus 1. And a3 over a3 plus a4 is r plus 3 over n plus 1. Now, let's simplify this. We get 2r plus 4 
over m plus 1, taking 2 out. And as you can see here, r2, sorry, r plus 2 over m plus 1 is equal to a2 over a2 plus a3. So that's 2, a2 over a2 plus a3, and that's the end of our proof.